lovelies, this is Jana here. Welcome to my channel. So guess what we're going to make today? I know, you already know because it's in the title. We're going to make cheese, but we're going to make it uh, gluten-free and we're going to make it soy-free and uh, we're going to make it nut-free. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? So let's dig into the ingredients. First, we're going to cook some starchy potatoes and peel them. And then we're going to blend some olives in its brine along with olive oil, plant-based milk. I'm using rice milk, always unsweetened, okay? And now we're going to process the cooked potatoes, salt, pepper, garlic powder and onion powder, some nutritional yeast, some lemon juice, and the blended oil, milk and olives. Now once it's very smooth, we're going to add cornstarch and sour starch. I have made cheeses before using sour starch. It is my preference because it gives this extra stretchy texture to the cheese and also because of the taste, it's a little bit sour. So it gives a little bit of a tanginess to the cheese, which is brilliant. But if you don't have it, you can use the same amount, but of a tapioca starch. And speaking of amounts, all the recipe is going to be linked down below straight to my website for the printable recipe and also uh, it's going to be fully uh, explain the recipe the ingredients and the method in the description box below as well now we're going to add all this into a pot and stir it on medium heat for about five minutes now you're going to have to be fast because uh, this cheese is it's going to firm up really fast. You're going to add it to the mold that you want it to get um, uh, the shape, your preferred shape. And then you wait until it's cooled down completely and then you put it in the fridge for at least uh, four hours. about this cheese isn't it brilliant beautiful delicious and also easy and it melts and it's delicious now the idea of uh, putting some olives along with the uh, along with the uh, olive brine is brilliant I don't know the, the combination with the uh, potatoes and the combination with the um, nutritional yeast gives this punch you know it's super cheesy it's delicious this is an old recipe actually that I have been doing, that I have been making all the time here. It's a lifesaver because the ingredients are so available, widely available. No mystery, like a, nothing out of this world, uh, complicated. And I, the taste is just perfect. And um, don't forget to subscribe to, to this channel. Also, uh, tag me if you make it. I love when you do that. And I see you next time. Uh, have a wonderful week. And until then, bye.